at a time when the economic issues are something that arguably heavily favors Republican candidates. I think Mitt Romney will uh, have a chance to do that, and I think in specifically some uh, one area that is deemed by many to be an um, area of liability for him in Michigan, uh, his opposition to the Obama administration's uh, bailout of General Motors and Chrysler, or as he puts it, a bailout of the United Auto Workers. Uh, we have to remember the, the, the Michigan Republican electorate is by and large not a UAW electorate. Um, it's, uh, it's an anti-UAW electorate historically, and, uh, and I think to a considerable extent still is. And Romney has a serious uh, criticism, which he's applied actually rather consistently to the, what the Obama administration has done uh, in uh, illegally uh, confiscating the property of, of bondholders of Chrysler and General Motors and giving it to the, his political patrons and paymasters, the United Auto Workers. Um, so I think that uh, it, that also gives him a springboard to attack, and I don't think he's done it so far really effectively, but he's laid the groundwork for it, to make a principled case against crony capitalism. Uh, for that, indeed, is what the um, you know, GM Chrysler UAW bailout was, um, to bring into play issues like the uh, $500 million to Solyndra, the Fremont, California uh, company that went bankrupt.